Hallelujah. Brethren, are you ready to worship the Lord our Maker this morning? Amen. 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 Your dancing shoes to the King of Glory, to the Lord of all us. Are you dancing? It's not unto man, but the Lord your Maker, the one that can do all things, the one that make it possible for us to see today. Some people want to see today, but they are no more. It is by the grace, mercy of the King of Glory. Dance or bring. Amen. Your dance to the King of Glory. As if you receive something good from God. Give him dance over that situation. Praise the Lord our Maker. Amen. We say, You are good. You are good. You are good. 
Rahim for this glorious Sunday service. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. to this Sunday service, the 16th January of 2022. I pray that as we all have gathered to worship the King of Kings, may he show forth in every situation and circumstances in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, it's time to go into our Bible reading. And the first Bible reading will be taken by Minister Tessie from France. 
and she will be reading from the book of Psalm 28, verse 1 to 9. Over to you, Minister Tessie. Thank you very much, Minister Eunice. Good morning, Church. Good morning, Pastor Bola. Good morning, Pastor. You all are welcome this morning in Jesus' name. Right, our Bible reading will be taken from Psalm 28, from verse 1 to 9. Let's take two seconds to pick up our Bible, our app, brethren. Let's open to the book of Psalm, chapter 28, from verse 1 to 9. Psalm, chapter 28, from verse 1 to 9, I read. One says, Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock. Be not silent to me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward the holy oracle. Three, draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Four, give them according to their deeds, and according to the wickedness of their endeavors, give them after the work of their hands, render to them their desert, because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the oppression of his hands, he shall destroy them, and, and not build them up. Six, blessed be the Lord, because he had heard the voice of my supplications, the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise him. Eight, the Lord is the, the Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Nine and the last verse. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also and lift them up forever. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, Minister Tessie, for that Bible reading. Right now, we're going to the second Bible reading, and that will be taken by Minister Irene in UK. And she will be reading from the book of Hebrew 13, verse 13 to 25. Over to you, Minister Irene. Good morning, Minister Eunice. Good morning, Pastor and Pastor Mrs. and all the members all over the world. If you'd open your Bibles, please, to Hebrews chapter 13, from verse 13 to 25. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, from verse 13 to 25. If you're there, I start to read. Let us go forth, therefore, unto him without the camp, bearing his reproach. For here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually, that is the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name. For to do good and to communicate, forget not. For with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves and submit yourselves for the watch for your soul as they that must give account, that they may do it with joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. 18, pray for us. For we trust we have a good conscience in all things willing to live honestly. But I beseech you the rather to do this, but I beseech you the rather to do this, that I may be restored to you the sooner. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant. 21. Make your make you perfect in every good work to do his will working in you that which is well pleasing in his sight through jesus christ to whom be glory forever and ever amen 22 and i beseech you brethren suffer the word of exhortation for i have written a letter unto you in few words know ye that our brother timothy is set at liberty with whom if he come shortly, I will see you. 24. Salute, salute, all, salute all them that have the rule over you and all the saints.
they of Italy salute you. 25, which is the last verse. Grace be with you all. Amen. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his word. Amen. Thank you, Minister Irene. May the Lord prosper his word in our hearts and make us the doer of his word and not the hearer alone in the name of Jesus. May I ask that every one of us be upstanding as we go into our prayer. Wherever you are connecting from, can you be upstanding? You are the presence of the King of Kings, irrespective of wherever you are, even though you are in your room, in your living room, God is there with you. So I would like every one of us to be upstanding as we take a prayer this morning. The first prayer will be taken by Minister James Stanley from Italy, followed by Minister Mata from the UK. The third will be taken by myself. After, I will hand over to Pastor Bola Salako. Uh, right now, we hand over to Minister James Stanley from Italy. Over to you. God bless you, my Minister Eunice. God bless everyone. Happy Sunday to you all. We are going to our prayers this morning, which are titled, Oh Lord, disappoint the devices of my enemies. And my Bible test is taken from the book of Nahum, 1 verse 6. And I read, Who can stand before his indignations? And who can abide in the fierceness of his hunger? His fury is poured out like fire, and the rock are thrown down by him. Amen. I pray that we will not be a vessel of the anger of God, rather we will be a vessel of his mercy in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Brethren, this morning we are going to open our mouth and pray. Let's begin to pray. We are going to say, oh Lord, my Father, I break and terminate every influence of ancestral spirit over my life and destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, I break and I terminate the influence of ancestral spirit over my life and my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, I break and I terminate their influence over my life and my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. I say the influence of ancestral spirit over my life and my family. This morning, I command you be broken, 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 be broken. Be broken. I said, I break and I terminate the power of ancestral spirit over my life and my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command you to be broken, be terminated. Be broken, be terminated. Be broken, be terminated. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hope we all are praying. We are going to say, eh, uh, we are going to say, every chain of limitation break out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Chains of limitations begin to break. Begin to break. Begin to break out of my life. Begin to break. Begin to break. Begin to break in the mighty name of Jesus. I said, I break off every chain of limitations out of my life and destiny, out of my family in the mighty name of Jesus. Every chain of limitation holding me bound be broken 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 break and release me today in the mighty name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray amen we are going to say covenant and so ties behind the problem i'm going through expire today in the mighty name of jesus covenant and so ties behind the problem i'm going through in the name of jesus expire 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 in the name of jesus expire 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 begin to expire in the mighty name of jesus i say the covenant and uh, the covenant oh lord my father in the name of jesus christ of nazareth covenant and so ties that is responsible for the problem i'm going through so this morning i command you be expired 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 in the mighty name of jesus expire in jesus mighty name we pray Amen. The last one before I hand over to the next minister, we are going to say, I destroy every evil property and demonic oppression in my household in the mighty name of Jesus. I destroy every evil property and demonic possession in my household in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to be destroyed. I destroy every evil property and demonic oppression in my house in the mighty name of Jesus. In my life, I destroy every evil property in the mighty name of Jesus and demonic oppression. Be destroyed. 
We destroy them this morning. We command them to be destroyed. Let them be destroyed by fire. Let them be destroyed by thunder. Let them be destroyed now. In Jesus' mighty name, they have destroyed. Amen. Amen. Bible topic this morning is the month, the month of advancement. Amen. Amen. And the, the Bible reading is Psalm 84, verse 2. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeared before God. Amen. And the first prayer point is, every evil cause, every evil causes, every evil causes. of thou shalt not excel, thou operating in my father's house. Release me, die, release me, die, release me, die in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil causes in my father's house, that thou shalt not excel. Release me, die, release me, die, release me, die, 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 die in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil causes in my father's house, thou, that thou shalt not excel. Release me, die, release me, die, release me, die, release me, die in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil causes in my father's house, in your father's house, in our father's house, that we shall not excel. Release us, die, release us, die, release us, die, release us. In Jesus' mighty name, they are dead. Amen. Every evil powers of my mother's house, tying down my destiny. Die by fire, die by thunder, die, 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 die in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil powers in my mother's house, tying down my destiny. Die by fire, die by thunder, die, 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 die by fire, die by thunder, die, die, die in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil powers in my father, in my mother's house, tying me down that I will not excel. Die by fire, die by thunder, die, die, die in Jesus' mighty name. They are dead. Amen. Amen. Let God arise. And let stubborn generational problems in my life die in the name of Jesus Christ. Let God arise. And let stubborn generational problems in my life die, 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 die in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise. And let stubborn generational problems in my life, in your life, in our life die. Die, die, die in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise. I let stubborn generation problems in my life. Die, die, die. In Jesus' name, they are die, dead. Amen. Amen. Every circle of generational hardship. Break in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every circle of generation and hardship. Break by fire. Break by thunder. Break, 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 break in the name of Jesus Christ. Every stubborn of generation and hardship. Break by fire. Break by thunder. Break, 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 break in Jesus' mighty name. They are broken. Amen. My, my destiny. Receive the anointing of acceleration, promotion in the name of Jesus Christ. My destiny, your destiny, our destiny. Receive the anointing of acceleration and promotion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My destiny, my husband's destiny, our husband's destiny, our children's destiny. Receive the anointing of acceleration. Receive the anointing of the acceleration in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Eagle of my destiny. Receive the power to so high in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, eagle of my destiny, receive the power to so high. Receive the power to so high in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The eagle of my destiny, receive the power to so high. Receive the power to so high in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The eagle of my destiny, receive the power. Receive the power. Receive the power. Receive the power to so high in Jesus' mighty name. The last prayer before the next minister, amen. The power of God. Arise, accelerate my destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, the power of God. Arise, accelerate my destiny. Accelerate my destiny. The power of God. Arise, accelerate my destiny in the name of Jesus. The power of God. Arise, 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 arise. Accelerate my destiny. Accelerate my destiny in the name of Jesus. The power of God. Arise, arise. Accelerate my destiny. Accelerate my destiny. Accelerate my destiny. Accelerate my destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Brethren, we are still praying in that same aggression. In this section, the prayer topic says, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and fight for me. And we are taking a Bible reference from 2 Kings chapter 2, 
from verse 13 to 14. Second King 2, 13 to 14, and I read, He took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. And he took the mantle of Elijah that fell for him and smote the water and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he also had smitten the water, they parted Eta Tita and Elisha went over. Hallelujah. The God of Elijah will fight for us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Say every evil throne in my family be dashed to pieces in the name of Jesus. Every evil throne in my family be dashed to pieces. I dash it to pieces. Every evil throne in my family affecting my life, affecting my children be dashed to pieces. I dash it to pieces. Every evil throne in my family affecting my acceleration, affecting my breakthrough, my miracle, my destiny, my glory. I dash it to pieces by the power of God of Elijah, I dash you to pieces. I dash you to pieces. I dash you to pieces. I dash you to pieces in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Say every satanic altar in my family. Receive the fire of God and be bound to ashes in the name of Jesus. Every satanic altar in my family, receive the fire of God, be bound to ashes, 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 be bound to ashes. Or satanic altar in my family, receive the fire of God, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire. Burn to watches, 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 burn to watches. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name they are burnt to watches. Say, blood of Jesus, cleanse me from every blood pollution. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Begin to cleanse me from every blood pollution in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Begin to cleanse me now. Cleanse me. Cleanse my children. Cleanse me from every blood pollution in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Begin to cleanse me. Separate me now in the name of Jesus from every blood pollution of my family line in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are praying. And we are going to say the fourth one like this. Say, oh Lord, lay your hands of power and your mighty hands upon my life. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord my Father, lay your hands of power and mighty upon my life. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord my Father, lay your hands of power, lay your hands of mightiness upon my life, upon my children, upon my marriage, upon my destiny, upon my ministry, upon my career. Lay your hands of power upon me. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord my Father, oh Oh God of Elijah, lay your hands of power upon the prayer house online church in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, lay your hands of power upon me, upon my children, upon my household in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are praying. And this will be my last prayer before I hand over to our mother in the house. Say, where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise! Change the story of my family in the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Open your mouth, shout unto the Lord of Elijah. Call him by his name. Arise, change my story. 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 Oh God of Elijah. Arise. Oh Lord God of Elijah. I rise and change my story, change my story, change my story, change my story. Oh Lord God of Elijah, I rise and change my story, change my story to glory, change my glory to power, change my story to victory. Oh Lord God of Elijah, I rise and change my story, change it, oh Lord, to a good song. Oh Lord, change my story, change my story, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And this section is called Paralyzing 
the rage of the wicked. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 28. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 28. And in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them of an evidence token of perdition, but to you of salvation and that of God. Praise the Lord. The book of Lamentations, Lamentations chapter 3 verse 37, Lamentations chapter 3 verse 37 says, Who is he that saith, and it cometh to pass when the Lord commanded it not? Amen? Yeah. Jeremiah 20 verse 11, are we all there? Do we all know it? Jeremiah 20 11. But the Lord is with me as a mighty terrible one. Therefore, my persecutors shall stumble, and they shall not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed, for they shall not prosper, and their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. Let's take it one more time. But the Lord is with me as a mighty, terrible one. Therefore, my persecutors shall stumble, and they shall not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed, for they shall not prosper, and their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. There is a song that says, anything which is say, lie, lie, he no go come to pass. Lie, lie, he no go possible. Lie, lie, anything which he say, lie, lie, he no go come to pass. Lie, lie, he no go come to pass. Lie, lie, anything which he say. Lie, lie, in no go cause to pass. Lie, lie, in no go cause to pass. Lie, lie. God of Elijah, send the fire. 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 prayer point like this. Say anywhere where my name is being called for evil. Turn the fire of God. Answer them and destroy them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anywhere my name is being called for evil. Turn the fire of God. Answer them. Destroy them. Answer them. Destroy them, answer them, destroy them, answer them, destroy them, answer them, destroy them. Yes, open your mouth and pray. Anywhere my name is being called for evil, turn that fire of God, answer and destroy them. Yes, answer them, destroy them, answer them and destroy them. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say, so every cause placed upon me by charm. You are a liar. Fail, 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 fail woefully. Yes, fail woefully. Every cause placed upon my life by charm. Fail woefully. Fail woefully. Fail woefully. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say, so every charm planted in the heart against me. God fire! In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, every charm programmed into the heart 
against me. Cut fire, 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 cut fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say every worker of iniquity hired against me. You are a liar. Die, 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 die. Die by fire. Yes, every worker of iniquity hired against me. Die, 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 die. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The evil imagination of the wicked are signed against me and my family. Scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus. Yes, let the imagination scatter. Every evil imagination against me and my family. Scatter and die. Scatter and die. Scatter and die. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say every arrow program in the sun, the moon, and the stars. Against me and my family. Scatter by fire. Scatter, 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 scatter. In the name of Jesus. Yes, let the arrow scatter down to desolation. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say any power or personality that has touched me before and is planning a re-attack. You are a liar. Die, 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 die. Die and be buried. In the name of Jesus. Yes, die and be buried. For affliction shall not rise up again the second time. Yes, die, 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 die and be buried. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say every demonic coffin prepared against my finances. God fire in the name of Jesus. Yes, catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Let the demonic coffin catch fire. Yes, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say witchcraft hand upon my life. We die, die. In the name of Jesus, every witchcraft hand upon my life. We die off, we die off, we die off and die. Yes, we die and die, we die and die, we die and die. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say, so any power or personality. That has ever stretched evil hand against me and my children. Your time is up. Die, 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 die. Die and be buried. Die and be buried. Die and be buried. Die and be buried. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say, satanic stumbling block. Programmed against my journey. 
Scatter by fire. Scatter, 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 scatter unto desolation. Every satanic stumbling block on my way to promotion, on my way to advancement, on my way to victory, on my way to breakthrough. Scatter and die. Scatter and die. Scatter and die. Scatter and die. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say every impossibility before my destiny become possible in the name of Jesus. Yes, become possible. Become possible. Become possible. Every impossibility before my destiny. Yes, I command you today. Become possible in the name of Jesus. Yes, let every impossibility before my destiny become possible now. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Set by the great power of God, I receive my testimony, I receive my victory, I receive my breakthrough. I receive my breakthrough. Yes, by the great power of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. This is my last prayer as I hand over to Pastor. You are going to say, By the strong hand of the Lord, I possess my possession. In the name of Jesus. Yes, I take it. I take it. I take my victory. I take my blessings. I take it. I take it. By the strong hand of the Lord, I possess it. My possession. Yes, open your mouth and possess your possession this morning. Everybody open your mouth and decree. By the strong hand of the Lord. By the strong hand of the Lord, I possess my possession. Somebody, you are getting it there. Somebody, open your mouth loud and clear. Aha, aha, aha. Possess your possession. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. A louder, amen. Let me hear you shout three loud, amen. Aha, aha. Thank you, Jesus. Right there where you are, let's lift up our two hands to the Almighty God as we sing this song to the Lord in worship. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I know that the Lord Almighty will accept our worship in Jesus' name. Do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Do something new in my life. Today. Hallelujah. Do something new.
to you. your name uh, for what you have done in my life for what you are doing uh, and for what you will do again today yes open your hearts to the Lord worship him exalt his name yes go ahead and give him all the praise that is all you can give to him that is all you can give to the Lord worship him uh, exalt him uh, adore him uh, give him all the glory give him all the honor give him all the adoration he is worthy to be praised worthy to be exalted Worthy to be adored. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. A louder amen. A louder amen. Now we're going to begin to praise the Lord. In this short time, we're going to praise the Lord. I want your body to move and sing to the Lord. I want the heaven to know that you are rejoicing with the Lord. Those of you that are at home, I want you to know that, yes, God has given you life. It's only the living that can praise God, isn't it? Only those that are alive, that are strong, that can praise God. And so as we are praising the Lord God Almighty, I want your heart to be connected to the Lord. And I know that the Lord God Almighty will touch you wherever you are. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. With your heart. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, Father. Thank you With so much, hand. Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, you so much, Lord, Lord Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, Father. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lift him up. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lift him higher. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Stretch your right hand to the heavens. Beloved, everybody close your eyes wherever you are connecting from her. And you want to cry to the Lord in prayer this wonderful morning. You will cry, say, power! I can hear your voice that has determined to destroy me this year. Let me hear you again. Aha! Powers that have determined don't destroy me this year. You are a liar. Die. Open your mouth and begin to decree. Command the power to die. To die. Every power that has determined to destroy me this year. Die. 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 Open your mouth loud and clear. Aha. 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 That is the power. That is the power. That is the power. That is the power. Oh, yes. In Jesus' name, we pray. Everybody, focus now. There are 14 of you, wherever, I don't know where you are, those of you are here, some of you are, are in your homes. Just 14 of you, there is a net that is saying that you are not going to go anywhere. It's a big net, a big net. Close your eyes, everybody. That net this morning, the fact that the Lord has revealed it, that net must catch fire, must catch fire. Must catch fire, must catch fire, must catch fire, must catch fire. Beloved, if this prayer concerns you or not, you want to cry aggressively right now. Every night of witchcraft. Now, those of you that are here, I want your voice loud and clear. Aside to catch me, catch fire. Open your mouth loud and clear. Aha. Are you praying the prayer? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. On fire. Cut fire. Cut fire. Cut fire. Cut fire. Say down. Say down. Everybody. Aha. 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 Put it on fire. In Jesus' name. We pray. Say thank you, Jesus. Close your eyes. Beloved, you are moving to the next level. Whosoever that person is, all those 14 people right there where you are. Whatever net of witchcraft, whatever net of darkness that has held you bound, as you are going to shout amen now, I command that net to be set ablaze 
Be set a blaze. 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 Be set on fire. 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 Makori la sataya. Thank you, Jesus. The next set of prayer points is for some people. Those people, this morning, you must break that evil pot. That pot must be what? Broken. Must be what? Broken. Let them associate themselves together. The word of God says they shall be broken to pieces. You will use your two hands and you will cry loud and clear. Say, every pot of witchcraft troubling the affairs of my life. Now, somebody, let me hear your voice. Aha. Every pot of witchcraft troubling the affairs of my life. Break in the name of Jesus. Sir. Let your two hands break it. 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 Are you praying a prayer? Aha. Aha. Yes, yes, yes. Continue, continue, continue. You are not praying, you are not praying. Open your mouth and break that pot. In Jesus' name we pray. All eyes closed. Somebody has been praying a prayer. And that prayer is, Father, let me go. Let me go. The Lord says, in this next prayer, that prayer will be over answered. Let me him and roar with fire. Beloved, the Bible says, but upon Mount Zion shall be what? Deliverance. And there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall do what? Possess their possession. Whatever is injuring you, I don't know. I don't know. But I know that the Lord God Almighty can let you go. He's ready to set you free. He's ready to deliver you from the cage where you have been locked. Everybody close your eyes. Listen to me very well. Our gathering together is not unto man. We are gathering in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says one shall chase a thousand. Two shall chase what? So don't waste this time when we gather together. Anytime we are together like this, put every effort. Concentrate and pray your prayer and you will begin to see results almost immediately. You will not cry with fire in your voice. Every cage of darkness that has locked me down i can't hear your voice aha let me hear your voice again oh yes open by fire open your mouth every cage of darkness that has locked me down open by fire open by fire somebody you are not praying are you praying to open 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 aha 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 say now say now say now aha in jesus name we pray thank you jesus close your eyes i was saying enough is enough enough is enough i don't know who you are wherever you might be connected that enough is enough the lord god almighty is able to stop those that are stopping you he's able to pursue your pursuer he's also able to put a stamp and say enough is what enough you will not cry with your right hand up everybody now let me see your right hand to the heavens you will not cry loud and clear say power pursue me about enough is enough Die! in the name of Jesus open your mouth let me hear your voice aha to die to die to die to die to die power sir. pursue me about enough is enough die now die now die are you praying yes yes aha 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 oh yes oh yes oh yes oh yes oh yes command them aha 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 in jesus 
Jesus name we pray thank you Father Lord everybody stretch your two hands towards me those of you that are at home on Facebook or YouTube wherever you might be everybody stretch your two hands towards me I decree and I declare and when you are connected to me wherever you are connected from in the whole wild world and the chain of darkness is on your hands as you will be shouting amen I command that chain to break and scatter to break and scatter to break and scatter I can't hear your amen to break and scatter I decree and I declare that every voice of darkness controlling you and they're dragging you about in the name of Jesus Christ I silence that voice I silence the voice I silence the voice I silence them 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 I silence that voice every arrow the enemy fired at you and that arrow is already working in your life as you are shouting amen I command the arrow to go back to sender 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 aha aha in Jesus name father let the entrance of your word bring light let it set the captives free as many that will hear your word today let them not see me but let them see you in me in Jesus name father deliver your prayers set the captives free give us our testimony and at the very end let our blessing be filled in jesus name we pray let me hear to the louder man aha aha let's clap for jesus wherever you are let's clap for jesus in your prayers also. let's clap let's take our say god bless you you are welcome in jesus name praise the name of the lord beloved i want to welcome you and i want to say may the lord continue to keep his church in Jesus name somebody do you believe with me that we need revival in the church yes or no we need what we need revival thank you Jesus that revival is coming very soon it's coming what very soon the Lord told me that when the revival comes the churches will be filled like never before it will look like where and how did it happen? How? So everybody take it cool. Begin to wait for the what? The revival. And we're going to be praying for it. And the devil will be in bigger trouble. The devil has kept a lot of people in bondage. He has kept them in bondage. Even right inside their house, there's a lot of bondage. And I can tell you many of them. But the question here is, he has also deceived many of us. That praying together is fake. That when two or three gather together and pray, that is more real. Beloved, it is real. Tell somebody it's real. Say it's real. I can't hear your voice. Now, I have a lot of things to tell you, but I don't think I have a lot of time. Let me tell you one of them. Listen to me. This person said, hello, pastor. How are you, pastor? I said, I'm fine. I said, pastor, I am pregnant. I said, pregnant? That's fine. I said, but you know what happened? my husband cost me and said when you are going to give birth to this baby you will die and the baby must die also I said ah uh -uh. so you can see that I was not going to church this is inside the house oh. inside what the house so I said how can that be happening how can that happen so I asked further questions I said what happened what did you do to him because your husband is supposed to bless you He's supposed to rain blessing on you you are having a baby for him isn't it the pastor you know what i am living here he is living here that's still the devil again are you getting me all this time when all of us are at home a lot of people fought themselves the police separate them you stay here you stay here and that's what happened so i said so what do you want to do now he says i'm looking for a pastor that will say i've been saying you pastor that you will break that Course. and I'm saying so these are the, some of the things that people are fighting in their various homes if she had been in church one of the prayer will have cut out that course am I correct if they were gathering together so I said when last did you go to church he says August 2020 that's like how many years ago are you getting me the devil is trying to keep many of us what away from praying together somebody lift your right hand and shout like that say the devil will not isolate me 
I can't hear your voice. I can't hear your voice. So he's trying to put what I call a restriction to all of us from getting together and being able to do what? To pray. Now when I heard that, I said, that is a very strange thing, isn't it? So let's assume the person is going to be giving birth. And I now said, so why don't you run to your pastor? Tell your pastor to pray for you. And he said, hey, pastor, in fact, it's been a long time I've spoken to my pastor. So you can see that many of us are disconnected, isn't it? So husband, disconnect you. Pastor, disconnect. In church, you are disconnected. Where you should seek what I call freedom, you are disconnected. So I said, ah, how come you are so much afraid? Who is this your husband? He said, my husband is a tribalist or a traditional man. Does he not go to church? I mean, don't you go to church together? Are you not both Christians? He says, no. So he uses fetish power to speak to you. Say yes. So he's looking for a stronger power that will do what? Counter it. Beloved, I want to tell you that it does not matter where you are. The hand of God is able to move. Is able to fight and is able to deliver. And I pray that the hand of God will fight for each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. This morning, I want us to go clearly into what I call destroying satanic embargoes. Destroying what? So that embargo was placed on that lady, isn't it? Say that. Where you want to deliver, it will what? You will die with the baby. Somebody lift your right hand again and say this loud and clear. Say, every power that has ever cost me. I can't hear your voice. So. Aha. I can't hear your voice. Wherever you are, so my soul can die. Masataya. Marabo Shandalitaya. Are you praying the prayer? Are you praying? 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 Open your mouth. In Jesus' name, we pray. Thank you, Father Lord. First Corinthians 16, verse 9. For a great door and effectual is open unto me, and there are many adversaries. First Corinthians 16, verse 9. First Corinthians 16, verse 9. Somebody is here, if you can read it with a loud voice, let me hear your voice. First Corinthians 16, verse 9. Are you there? Is anybody there here? Praise the name of the Lord. Those of you that are here. For a great door and effectual is what? Open unto me. And there are what? Many adversaries. Listen to me. Why am I saying this? Because many people have been blocked. Many people have been held bound. And those embargoes must be lifted. Tell somebody, my embargo must be lifted. My embargo must be lifted. My embargo must be lifted. Now, whether the embargo is spiritual, physical, it has been said publicly or said inwardly, it has to be lifted, isn't it? Because a person can place an embargo and you'll be wondering, how come? I've not been moving forward in this area. I've not been moving forward in this area, in this department of my life. Who has placed this embargo? Who has placed this embargo? Who has placed this embargo? That embargo shall be lifted. 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 Beloved, we were talking about this some times back, and I know that we didn't complete most of the things that we talked about. But one thing I would clearly tell every one of you, there are people that ought to have moved forward in life. They ought to have moved higher in life. But of course, where they are presently is far, far different from where God wants them to be, isn't it? For a great door and effectual is open unto me. And there are many adversaries. Imagine somebody has now gotten pregnant, but there is somebody saying, you won't, you won't deliver. Can you imagine that? And a lot of people are looking for pregnancy, isn't it? A lot of people are looking for pregnancy. The other day somebody spoke to me, said, Pastor, I've been married for several years now. I'm now 48 and I need a child. Of course, people need a child. And this is someone that has now gotten pregnant and somebody said, oh, you have a child, you have a, you're pregnant. You will not deliver this child. You will die with this child. It is an embargo placed on that delivery date, isn't it? It's an embargo placed on that delivery date. I pray 
that if there's an embargo in any area of your life, anyone connected here, today, that embargo is lifted. I can't hear your amen. It's lifted up. 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 Somebody let me hear you loud amen. Thank you, Father Lord. Beloved, I pray that the hand of God will fight for every one of us in Jesus' name. Now, listen to me. There are a lot of people that have been tied down. They mean what? Tied down. There are a lot of people that actually they have all the qualification, but an embargo is keeping them under. An embargo is doing what? Keeping them under. Listen and listen very well. You cannot escape wickedness. Let me say it again. You cannot what? But one thing you can do is that you can pray. To scatter what? Wickedness. But escaping wickedness, don't deceive yourself. Don't what? Because you've seen now, husband cursing wife. In this our age, in this recent, are you getting me? In this our age now, we read it in the Bible. Am I correct? We read it, but we are hearing it again right now. Wickedness is everywhere. And everybody must understand it. Then you cannot also escape what I call oppression. There's oppression everywhere, everywhere. And I pray that the Lord God Almighty will destroy every yoke of oppression in your life in Jesus' name. Now, the Bible says something in Isaiah 58, verse 6. Isaiah 58, verse 6. It's not this the fast that I've chosen. To lose the bands of wickedness. To do what? To lose the bands of what? And to undo heavy burden. Isaiah 58, verse 6. Isaiah 58 verse 6 to undo every burden and to let the oppressed to go free and that ye break every yoke wonderful scripture in that scripture there's the bible talks about the bands of wickedness isn't it in that bible scale it says it talks about undoing the wicked burden the wicked what burden in that same scripture it talks about the oppressed that some people have been oppressed and in that same scripture, it talks about breaking of every yoke. I pray to somebody, any bands of wickedness around you, inside of you, tormenting you, is broken by fire. It's broken by fire. Let your amen roar with fire. Now, listen to me very well. When an embargo has been placed in the life of a child of God, it will stop the person from moving forward. The injection, the agenda of an embargo is what is to what is to stop is to stop the agenda of an embargo is to intimidate the person into do what the example i gave you that sister she's been intimidated isn't it in fact she now said pastor we even call i've called my family back home what i'm talking about happened in london i've now called my family where back home they should go to my husband's family and go and beg him family to family. Did you hear me? Family to what? So when they got there, he says, the other family, my husband's family, they didn't open door. They said they are not at home. They were calling them. They said that. So the people that had to go back. So it's not a joke. It's not what? A joke. I pray that every satanic intimidation over your life, uh, I command that intimidation to expire, to expire, to expire, to expire, to expire, to expire by fire in the name of jesus the embargo is to bring starvation to starve you that's another thing that's my number three to starve you the embargo is also to frustrate you as a christian number four to frustrate a christian the fixer could be praying but because of an embargo somewhere the embargo is to restrict you to bring what i call restriction to your life to bring what restriction the embargo is to bring closed doors that there will be no good doors opening for the person. I pray for you that any good door that the enemy has shut against you, today I command those good doors to open by fire. I can't hear your amen. To open by fire. To open. 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 To open by fire. Thank you, Jesus. Listen to me very well. When there is an embargo in the life of a child of God, the child of God sometimes will rise up. Sometimes it will fall. 
Sometimes it will rise. Sometimes it will do what? Fall. When that embargo is in love of a child of God, what happens? The person will be suffering in the midst of plenty. Even though there's a lot of plenty things, the person will do what? We suffer. When there's an embargo in the life of a child of God, the person could be at the position of the top, but it will be like the person is at the bottom. It will be like what? The bottom. When there's an embargo in the life of a child of God, the person could have a lot of gifts. He's very, very gifted, but nobody to celebrate him or her. Nobody to do what? Lots of nice people. Many of you have watched uh, British Got Talent. You've watched X Factor. Am I correct? Sometimes some people come there. They sing very well. They do some things. And the judges will say, how old are you? He will say, I'm 70 something. So, so where have you been all this while? Isn't it? The person is gifted. Correct? He's what? Gifted. But he has been nowhere. He has been what? So they will just say, how are we going to help this one? He's 70 something. Or even 80 something. Even if the person is shining now, the shining will not be good, isn't it? We just say, okay, come on, come on, eat steak. Come on, eat steak. There's no more teeth to eat steak. Correct? Say, so come to a good restaurant. Come on, eat steak. No more. To eat what? The teeth is what? It's gone. Say, so, okay, all the steak here is free for life. No teeth to... Because the age has gone. It will bring such kind of things. So the person will be gifted, but never seen. Nobody sees the person. I pray that anyone that is here, in the name of Jesus Christ, or those of you that are connected, beginning from now, your gift will make a way for you. I can't hear your amen. It will make a way. It will make a way. Your gift will make a way. It will make a way. It will make a way. Make a way. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, the embargo is lifted. The embargo is lifted. The embargo is lifted. Beloved, we can continue. We'll continue this again one of these days in Jesus' name. But there are conscious embargo. The conscious one is the one that that woman came to tell me. That my husband placed a curse. Are you getting me? Then there's what I call unconscious embargo. Many people don't even have a clue that they are operating under embargo. They don't dream. Some people... They always forget their dream. Some people, the enemy has put them in an embargo that they will never remember their dream at all. So they don't even understand what is happening in their spiritual life. Those people are under what I call unconscious embargo. And that's what I call the collective embargo. What do I mean? A group of people or a group of people in the family, they will be experiencing the same circle of problems. The same circle of what? Problem. It is, sometimes people call it like father, like son. Like mother, like daughter. They experience the same thing. And they can see it in themselves. They say, Pastor, this is happening in my sister's life. This is happening in my other sister. This is happening, the same thing is happening like that. Collective embargo. And that's what I call the selective embargo. The selective one can just pick one black sheep in the family. Are you getting me? And that person will just be upside down. The person will be dipping into what I call one bondage or the other. And there's also what I call the mind embargo. What do I mean? These persons are caged in their mind. They're caged in what? In their mind. In their mind, they have told them, you are black. You can't have any place in this Britain. And so in their heart, they feel that they are black. Are you getting me? And so they can never do anything good. Say, ah, you are black. You can't have a house. Oh, black people don't have houses. So you can never have a, just be renting. Just be renting house. So in his head, I am black. I am only about to rent a house. So in his head, he doesn't, never, never. So that kind of person is under an embargo. So many, and I can continue and there. But beloved, instead of us continuing here, I want us to do some prayer. And I pray that the Lord Almighty will fight our battles in Jesus' name. And that's what I call a geographical embargo. What do I mean? In a particular place, the people don't rise more than anything. You can go to a village, some villages, some places, you never see a, 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 a story building there. All the buildings are what? Bungalows. Nobody dare try to raise a story or two stories in that village. If you dare it, anybody that has tried it, 
they go to meet with the Lord straight away. They go and meet what? With the Lord. And I pray that those kind of geographical embargoes will not hold us bound in Jesus' name. So how do you destroy these embargoes? Number one, you must speak to it. You must do what? Speak to it. Ah, but you must be a friend of God. You must be born again. You must be what? You can't speak to an embargo without being born again. You must give your life to Christ before you now begin to speak to that embargo for the embargo to be lifted. Then you must also be consistent in hammering that embargo to crush or to, to, to disappear, to scatter. Because if the embargo continues to be there and you don't do anything about it, then it's going to be there. Then you might in the end pass the embargo to your children and they pass it to your children's children. I pray that if there's any embargo, that embargo shall be lifted in Jesus' name. It shall be lifted. 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 Lift your right hand and cry like I say, Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Lift every embargo in my life. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth with your right hand. Aha, uh -huh. every embargo in my life. Lift them out. Lift them away. Open your mouth. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name, we pray. Wherever you are connected from today, you want to give your life to Christ, you have an opportunity right now. Those of you that are watching online, on Facebook, on YouTube, on Zoom, I want to give you an opportunity today. For the Bible says, For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have what? Everlasting life. John chapter 3, verse 16. So wherever you are, you've never given your life to Christ at all. And you are operating under an embargo. So what do I mean? Somebody spoke to a child and said to you that you are going abroad or you are going to United Kingdom, you are going to Germany, you are going to France, you will not make it. So the way you went is the way you will come back. And you are already experiencing that. There is an embargo. But now, you want to destroy the embargo, you must be a friend of God. You must surrender your life to Christ. You must actually totally give your life to Christ. Let me tell you what many will do. They will now begin to do what I call charm for charm. He's using charm. Me too, I will now go and get a bigger charm. Me too, I am in Germany. Me too, I am in Italy. I will send money to Africa. I will do charm for charm. That's not going to help you. Jesus is the only way. So if you still have a charm in your house, I want you to go and throw them away. If you still have a charm in your house or an incantation that was given to you, you must surrender your life to Christ this morning. Surrendering your life to Christ means that you must totally give all to Christ. All. Without keeping any snake water or any charm in your house or any incantation or anything. Without everything, you must surrender to Jesus. Wherever you are today, you want to give your life to Christ, I want to pray for you now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Because of you, wherever you might be, you want to surrender your life to Christ, just put your right hand on your chest and say this short prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Forgive me my sins. Wash me from all unrighteousness. Purge and purify me. Let not my sin hinder my prayer. Today, I am born again. I give my life to Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have said that short prayer with me, I want to pray for you. Father, I pray for everybody that is listening to this message, wherever they might be in the whole world. Heaven rejoice over one soul that repents. Father, this your children have surrendered themselves to you. Today, forgive them their sins. Wash them from every iniquity. Daddy, write their names in the book of life. And at your coming, none of them shall be found wanting. Beginning from today, they are born again Christians. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Son. Whenever you are, if you have given your life to Christ this morning, I want to say, everyone rejoice over you. We want to congratulate you. If you want to write us, if you want to know more about Jesus, please write us on the 
uh, uh, number scroll below there, write us and say, Pastor, I gave my life to Christ and I want to know more about Jesus. And we'll be praying along with you and the Lord will strengthen you in Jesus' name. The rest of us, let's stand to our feet as we begin to plead the blood of Jesus this morning. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. 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 There is power mighty in the blood. Say, blood of Jesus, lift away every embargo in my life. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth loud and clear. Aha, aha, aha. Let the blood of Jesus lift away every embargo in my life. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Aha. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Aha. In Jesus' name. We pray. Now you will not cry loud again with that right hand. Put it upon your head. Your right hand on your head. Your right hand on your head. Your right hand on your head. Say, embargoes upon my destiny. Be lifted. In the name of Jesus, we'll oh, put your mouth loud and clear. Aha, 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 aha. Oh, put your mouth, oh, put your mouth loud and clear. Ma ya 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 ya. Ma kayaba sataya. In Jesus' name, they are lifted. Remove your hands from your head and start loud and clear. Holy Ghost fire. I can hear your voice. Scatter every power blocking my way in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Begin to scatter them. Every power blocking my way. Holy Ghost fire. Scatter them. Scatter them. Scatter. 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 Aha. 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 In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, every bondage keeping me in the same position, release me by fire. Open your mouth, open your mouth. You are not praying a prayer. Every bondage keeping me in the same position, release me by fire, by fire, by fire, release me. By fire, release me. By fire, release me. By fire. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name, we pray. Father, we thank you for everyone that is under my voice today, wherever you might be in the whole world. If there's any bondage, if there's any embargo, if there's any stopper that says you will not move to the next level, this morning, as you are shouting amen, amen, I command that embargo to be lifted now. Let your amen roar with fire. To be lifted. 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 Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. Let me hear three loud amen. Amen. Oh, yes. Let's clap for each other. I think I was saying, God bless you. Baby. Now listen to this very announcement, everybody. Listen to this announcement very well. Listen to this announcement. The Lord has revealed that many are under an evil embargo. Many are what? Under what? So I am not going to stop this prayer here. In fact, we have not started the prayer. By the grace of God, 7 o'clock tonight, we will continue in our various homes. 
because that embargo must be lifted. And when the Lord keeps hammering it, keeps hammering it, it means that some people are still there. They're still under that embargo. Beloved, the word of God is clear and is also able to deliver, to set free all those that are under captive. And I pray that in this program tonight, you will be delivered in Jesus' name. So at 7 o'clock later tonight, connect with us on Zoom. Connect with us on Zoom. Those of you that are on YouTube, on Facebook, and those of you that are here, connect with us on Zoom. We are going to pray those prayers very well. And when we are praying the prayer in your various homes, make sure you are not distracted. Make sure you are not on the phone. Make sure you are not going to the kitchen to take some biscuit and come back and eat and, you know, be con concentrate, concentrate and pray the prayers with us. And the Lord will strengthen you all in Jesus' name. Amen. So meet us at 7 o'clock later today and the Lord will bless you all in Jesus' name. Let us give our offering, wherever you might be. Let's give our offering. Let's take our offering. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. While the offering has been displayed, all the places where you can give, the different ways we give, I'm going to be praying unto it before I invite the choir to come and take us in uh, singing and dancing as we collect our offering. Father, I thank you. I bless your name. I give you praise. I give you all the glory for all the offerings uh, that we are giving today. With this offering, with this tight in our hands, uh, Father, we ask that you open the windows of heaven unto us. Uh, increase us on every side. As we are giving this offering today, we ask, Lord, uh, that you bless our lives and destiny. You almighty multiply us. Uh, you do a new thing in our homes. You do a wonderful thing in our lives. And let your power and your name alone be glorified. Thank you, everlasting Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Right on the screen, you can see the different ways of giving. Uh, those of you that are in, you can see the Barclays Bank there, you can see the Cash App, you can also see uh, the Zenit Bank and the PayPal, all there. Those of you that are online, and as we sing and dance to the Lord, I want the ushers to help us. As we sing and dance to the Lord, I pray the Lord. God Almighty will strengthen every one of us in Jesus' name. So those of you that are connected with us, let's sing and dance as I hand over to the choir. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you all.
We thank God for mighty for that session. We want to pray that the Lord will continue to keep us all in Jesus' name. If you're watching with us for the first time, you're welcome. God bless you wherever you might be connected from. Type it on there and say, today is my first time. And definitely you will see a form there. Fill the form and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Uh, today is our day 14 of our 21 days uh, prayer and fasting. And I want to believe that you've got your book with you. Praise the name of the Lord. And of course, this is the book right in front of me. For those of you that don't have the book, make sure you get your book. Pray the prayers and the Lord will strengthen you. And we've got some at the back here. If you want, uh, please speak to Sister Martha and the Lord will bless you all in Jesus' name. By the grace of God, this very week will be uh, the time we're going to be finishing the fast. From Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it will be a dry fast. Please take note of that and the Lord will bless you as you join the program in Jesus' name. 
by the grace of God, like I said again, if today is your first time, you're welcome. God bless you. If today's a birthday, happy birthday to you. We want to wish you many happy returns of the day, long life and prosperity. We pray that the Lord will keep you and protect you in Jesus' name. Today is, of course, your anniversary. We want to say happy anniversary to you. God bless you and the Lord will strengthen you in Jesus' name. This is our second service. The first service was at 10 o'clock, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, the second service at 10 o'clock. And, of course, the third service at 7 p.m. And the last one will be at 11 at night, all online. And I pray the Lord will bless every one of you all in Jesus' name. Let's turn to our feet as we close this meeting today. I am saying thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, thank you, my Lord. I am saying thank you. Hallelujah. Thank, thank you, my Lord. I am saying thank you, Father. Thank you, my Lord. I am saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Stretch your two hands towards me as I pray for you. Father, I pray for everyone connecting here today. I ask Almighty that you manifest your power over their lives in Jesus' name. As men that are asking you, Lord, when will you, Almighty, set to me in this country? Father, let them, Almighty, be touched by your power in the name of Jesus. So right there where you are, be settled in that country you are. Be settled. I'm not hearing your amen. I say be settled. Be settled. Be settled. Be settled. Be settled. Be settled in the name of Jesus. I pray for those of you that say, Lord, when will you make this move set to me in my marriage? I pray that your marital life will manifest. Will manifest. Will manifest. Will manifest. Will manifest in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that those of you that are looking for the, to the fruit of the womb, the Lord God Almighty will give you your own child. The Lord will give you your own child. The Lord will touch you. The Lord will touch you. You shall deliver safely. And those of you that are almighty pregnant right now, I say you will deliver perfectly. It shall be well with you. In the name of Jesus. Stretch your two hands towards me. I pray for someone. That house you are asking the Lord for, in the name of Jesus Christ, receive a key to that house. Receive your key to your new house. Receive your key. Receive your key. Receive your key. Receive your key. Receive your key to that new house. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare those of you that are looking for a, what I call a profitable employment. As you are stretching your two hands towards me, in the name of Jesus Christ, receive your letter of employment. Receive your letter of employment. Receive your letter of employment in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that every plan of the enemy to bring you down will fail. The Lord will lift you up. The Lord will lift you high. He will lift you up. He will lift you high. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father will thank you. Today, we give you all the praise. As we are living here, we are not living in your presence. Go with us in Jesus' name. As men that need deliverance, touch them with your hand. In the name of Jesus. Deliver the oppressed. Set the captives free. And as we go, Lord, go with us in Jesus' name. We soak all our pathway in the blood of Jesus. Throughout this week, we soak all our children with the blood. Our children's children, we cover them with the blood. We cover every member of our family with the blood of yours. As men are be traveling, they will go safely. You will land safely. You will arrive safely. There shall be no accident. Let your amen roar with fire. There shall be no accident. There shall be no calamity. There shall be no disaster. There shall be no tragedy. I decree that you all become invisible for the kingdom of darkness to touch in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless your name, O oh Lord. We ask Almighty that everyone connecting here tonight, we Almighty begin to Almighty release the blood of Jesus up to immunize you. We immunize you from every sickness, from every disease, from every virus with the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus, we immunize you and your children with the blood of Jesus Christ. King of glory, we thank you. For in Jesus' name we pray. Three loud amen. Aha. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. As we're going to share the grace right now, in the second, in the third service at 7 p.m., we're going to be praying onto our water. Get your water ready. We want to pray onto it. Make sure that you're part of that program. It's going to hold on Zoom only. And the Lord will bless you all in Jesus' name. Everybody, let's share the grace together in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely, all the days of our lives, and we should dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Those of you that are online, let's hear your voice as you unmute yourself as we shout seven hallelujahs together. Everybody, let's go. Hallelujah. 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 
God bless you all. I love you, Bonnie. The Lord will be with you all in Jesus' name. We'll meet you again at 7 p.m. later tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Happy Sunday, everyone. Happy Sunday, everyone. Happy Sunday to you. Happy Sunday Happy to every one of you. God bless you. The Lord Happy will be with Sunday, you. Happy Sunday, all. God bless you. Have a wonderful Amen. Weekend. You too. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to you all. Congratulations to everyone. Minister. Minister. I hate no. See you.